What's good, Wealth Builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we're talking about Stash App. What is it? Should you use it? And how to make money with it. So let's go. Now tuned into the greatest. <laughs> All right. Before we get started with Stash App review, I have some quick disclaimers. Number one. I'm not a financial guru, so I'm not guaranteeing you my results. I'm just letting you know my experience and how, you know, I use Stash App. You know what I mean? Uh, number two, I have my notes here. They're right down here. So don't mind me not always looking at the camera. I'm going to look down and I'm going to read my notes because I want to give you the correct information and I don't want to stumble over my words. This is how I shoot my video. So if you like it, if you enjoy it, great. Subscribe. And if you don't, hey, sorry to hear that. All right. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button either, okay, if, you're, if you like these videos. Don't just say you like it and don't hit the subscribe button. All right, so with no further ado, let's get into the style shot review. Ah, look at me, I'm a rapper. I spit them ear lyrics. Nah, for real, um, I, got, I, got, I got rhymes. <laughs> All right, so what is stash app? All right, stash app or stash invest, whatever you want to call it, launched back in 2015. All right, the founding creators wanted to help the average Americans learn how to invest. Okay, the Stash app allows investors to start investing with as little as $5, which are now down, um, I'm sorry, which pretty much starts your investment. You don't buy a whole stock with $5, you buy, you buy partial stocks. So let's remember that, okay? You're buying partial stocks, but it's cheaper than buying a whole stock. So $5 is a great way to start. And the Stash app makes choosing investments extremely simple. They offer 30 different themed investments to choose from, which are narrowed down by your risk tolerance and personal preference. Through the app, you can buy additional investments, diversify, and monitor your progress. They also have low fees, okay, at only a dollar per month. If your account has less than $5, I'm sorry, $5,000, or 0.25% per year if your account holds more than $5,000. Plus, Stash App is free for the first three months, okay? So, which it gives you time to build up your stash before you even spending any money, all right? So, the question is, how or should you use Stash App? Personally, I say hell to the yeah, you should use Stash App, okay? I personally built up a nice, sizable stash to the tune of $2,000 just from stashing away $5 a week. I actually, I invested, I think, about $150 of my own money and built from there. So basically, I pretty much built it through dividends and actually getting people to sign up to Stash App because they give me $5 per person that signs up through Stash App through my link. All right, so it's a beautiful thing. All right, so you take that money and you reinvest. Now, I had to recently liquidate the Stash for business investment, which was fairly easy, by the way. It only took about 24 hours for the money to show up in my checking account. A couple clicks and my stocks were sold and money in my account. It was that simple. It wasn't a whole bunch of, you know, things you had to go through to get the money back, all right? So don't think like your money's gone once you get it in there, right? And it's a great feeling to make dividend income, okay? Because it's passive income. You put your money up, you buy the stock, and you you get dividend income based on the stock that you purchase, okay? So that's the whole point of Stash App, to build the stash on autopilot. You invest in the stocks, the, or the ETFs, because they don't you don't really buy stocks, you buy partial ETFs, okay? Electronic traded funds, okay? So basically, this is it. When you buy the ETF, you're only buying a partial portion of it. Now, so you get a portion of a dividend, either monthly, every three months, 
of the quarter. It all depends on the ETF and what you know what they do, and they have different ETFs within Stash apps. So you go through there, you figure out which ones give you dividend. They tell you which one provides a dividend and which and how many times they pay. If they pay monthly, if they pay every other month, if they pay three months, if they pay quarterly, things like that. Okay. Now, so it's fairly simple. This is not is this not take a lot of brain work. You sign up for free. Okay. They give you five dollars to invest. You take that five dollars, you invest, and then you reinvest every time you get you know a dividend every time you come across maybe you know you get paid your paycheck you get ten twenty dollars out of your paycheck you invest with that and then you actually help other people and share it with other people and then take that five dollars when they sign up and invest with that it's fairly simple okay the way to to grow your stash app is fairly simple you sign up through my link they give you five dollars you invest that five dollars. You every time you get paid from anywhere, you know anything you do. Maybe you, you make you make you sell things online. So maybe every month you get a check from YouTube. Maybe you're a big YouTuber. You make money from YouTube. So then you take a portion of that. You invest in Stash App, and you you actually you know recommend Stash App to other people. Stash App gives you up five dollars up to a hundred dollars worth of um, $5 basically <laughs> and um, you invest that money and then when the dividends come in you reinvest the dividends and then you just it just keeps becoming a cycle every time a dividend come in you reinvest reinvest and grow your stash it's very simple folks it's not a lot of hard you know um, thought process or oh what stock should I buy oh this thing is failing oh this is going down you just reinvest your money because the dividends come in monthly quarterly whatever it is all right so there you go so like I said before go ahead click the link below get signed up the stash app that's so you can start making your money you know easily no fuss, no muss. <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching my review of Stash App and my experience with Stash App because it's not just a review. I actually experienced a lot of this. It's your boy Devon signing off for my Stash App review. Do remember, make more, save more, build more. Peace.